Now, let's try setting up an actual inverter. We're going to use parameter one, upper limit frequency, as an example. This is the operation panel when the power is on. Press the PUEXT button several times to change the operation mode to PU. Press the mode button to choose the parameter setting mode PRM. Turn the M dial until the LED monitor displays P.1, parameter number 1. Press the set button to read the current setting value. The initial value is 120 Hz. Turn the M dial to change the value to 60 Hz and press the set button to finalize it. The setting is completed when 60 and P1 flicker alternately. As a useful inverter function, I'd like to show you the parameters to set the acceleration time and deceleration time to start or stop the motor. Parameter 7 is for acceleration time and parameter 8 is for deceleration time. We are going to use these settings and the belt conveyor I introduced in Chapter 1 as an example. This is the belt conveyor again. It's conveying bottles. These bottles fall over, so the motor needs to be started and stopped slowly. The rated frequency of the motor is set to 60 Hz. Now let's check each setting. First, set the rated motor frequency. Do you remember parameter 3, base frequency? Set parameter 3 to 60. To start the belt conveyor slowly, set parameter 7, acceleration time. The initial value is set to 5 seconds, but we're going to change it to 10 seconds. Similarly, we will set the deceleration time of parameter 8 to 10 seconds. These settings allow the belt conveyor to stop slowly. Now the parameter setting is completed. Now let's see how the conveyor operation has been changed. The conveyor with the acceleration and deceleration time set starts slowly and stops slowly. As you see, parameters allow us to set the motor according to the applications of the equipment in which the motor is used. There are many other examples available in the text for your study.